Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics with a really fun new block of the month, maybe the funnest we've ever done. This is called Chilling with My Snowmies by Deb Grogan. She owns the Quilt Factory and she's one of my favorite designers. And when she chose the design, she married that up with the Lakeside Gathering flannels from Moda, Primitive Gatherings. And it's just the coziest, most snuggliest quilt ever. And of course, it's darling with these snowmen. We took some creative liberty by coloring ours just a little bit different than the original coloring so that we could get these really nice deep blues in the background have high contrast. And Deb, bless her heart, has allowed us to prefuse and laser cut that applique shapes for you. So all of that's done, no tracing, no cutting that out. You're just getting your backgrounds prepared and then your shapes are ready to go, peeling the backing off and using your wafer two light box and your larger Applefuse mat to pre-assemble those. So you're moving those onto the background as one unit. It's a great process versus bringing shapes on one by one. So this is a, actually a seven month block of the month program. You'll be getting, of course, uh, a section of the quilt each time. And then in your seventh month, which will be your final shipment, all of your sashing, outer border and binding will be sent to you. So it's a nice compact uh, program there. And it's a good size quilt. Besides being darling, it's absolutely usable. Definitely something you could be throwing over the couch. As always, you know, when we order for these programs, we have to guess at how many spots, you know, will people want. And we had to make that guess actually before the quilt was even done. And now that we're seeing it, we probably under guessed. So if you're saying, yes, I absolutely have to have this or want to give it as a gift, be sure to reserve your spot. This is the backing option. Again, of course, flannel. I love that visual texture to it. And we also have another option of a six piece thread set, which is what we use to stitch down all of our applique shapes. Now you're seeing a little bit of embroidery on here, actually a fair amount of embroidery now that I say that here. So we went ahead and we're just including that embroidery floss in your kit. And as you can see, these are actually buttons. Those will also be included in your final shipment. I will be sure to include those buttons. You don't have to go run out and find those. Now, because of our embroidery, we're sometimes marking on the lighter fabric, sometimes on our darker fabric. So we have two different marking tools. You wanna to pick those up. In fact, let me just go over those. This is what we use to make our sample quilt starting off with our larger creative grid ruler to cut those longer runs, certainly be cutting our outer border. This was my favorite one in this project, the two and a half by 24 and a half. And that's because the sashing is all cut that size. It's so nice when you can use a ruler that is the size of your cut. And of course we use the two and a half again for the binding on that. So that's a really great ruler to pick up if you don't have that one. We use the Carrera, we actually use the gray thread set um, that's a white, gray, black one for piecing. So if you're just doing piecing, this is a great one to just pick up. You really never need anything different than a white, gray, or black when you're piecing things together. Applique is different, which is why, of course, we have that six-piece thread set option for you. But again, kind of traveling left to right, we definitely used our patchwork pins so we can make sure all of these intersections were coming together just beautifully. Our fresh blade and the rotary cutter, uh, Karen K. Buckley scissors. One thing I wanted to call your attention to was also the super nonstick. Anytime you're working with fusible webbing, such as the, in these projects, these have, of course, that fusible on the back. That's where we love to transition from the top stitch and instead use the super nonstick ED12, which is engineered for that very purpose of going through that fusible uh, webbing. So really, if I was to recommend any of these notions to you, the ability to pre-assemble this and move this onto the background is done with this magic here of that wafer two and that larger applefuse mat. That's the MVP of this project for sure. Pick up any notions you might need, but the most important part is reserving your spot. We cannot add more spots. We have asked and it will not be possible. So if you're like, I, yep, I need these cute little um, snowmen in my home to pick that up, your backing, thread sets, any other notions you might need, and I will see you soon on another shabby video.